why giving and listening and getting feedback is, is so so important from your perspective oh boy there, there are numerous of reasons and i can tell you that my current company fp uh giving a proper feedback is one of the key elements key principles of its existence um to me basically feedback uh is something it's a it's a privilege that somebody is willing to share uh his opinion about either you either some things that he or she struggles with so uh feedback it's uh, i would say uh, a really broad subject it's uh it can be easy it can be difficult uh it can be but uh, for us and our job is is to make sure it's meaningful mm. it's meaningful uh, so we have to create a proper environment either in the company either in our team that the people feel free to share their ideas and to be honest with mm. each other no that's so, that's uh, a home run idea <laughs> yeah it is and uh, you know um fr from my experience uh, getting out feedback from technical people it's particularly <laughs> difficult if uh, uh you know i had a comparison between you know project managers the people are working generally in project management in different levels and they could i would say they were more easy with wording so mm. they were more easy uh saying what do they feel uh what do they see and um getting this from the technical people requires a lot more effort but their suggestions tend to be really really good because they are really thought over so uh the as i said first thing you need to create an environment secondly uh the people need to see that their feedback has an impact mm. because if they do not see this they're not going to share this for the for the second or the, for the third time saying you know why why is he asking me if he's not doing anything with it yeah when it's not heard right when it's when it's not understood even though that there are sometimes situations that uh, you need to make a decision that is going to be really unpopular uh or or you don't or you will make a decision that is uh, against the feedback that you have received i believe it's your obligation to return to your people to, to the people that gave you feedback saying uh i had to make another decision mm. however your feedback was crucial for me to take it that's you, that's, that's excellent you, you your feedback you know gave me another uh view on what can be done what are the consequences from our end as uh, uh and to you know check uh, that that you're okay that i didn't make a decision that would be in accordance to your feedback but uh, i want you to feel that you have been heard and uh i saw on one of the things in the internet uh, on the one of the videos that was really one good question that uh, was abling to extract this kind of information saying uh what is the one thing that i can do that would make your job easier or better mm. so that's that's an example of a of a good feedback question that's a powerful question because it seems to me it, it reflects two ways in the kind of, so you um, there are two perspectives so first of all uh, i'm saying you something that that you will perceive and then actually i will i will benefit of it so it's very complex mm -hmm. complex uh, complex context very uh, very interesting question one very important thing about feedback especially if it's uh, not very favorable uh either it's very favorable you need to try to base uh, on facts you need to gather some facts and uh, sometimes if you want to have a real extend feedback you're asking additionally how have this situation impacted you how have you uh, felt in the in such situation when when this uh, maybe not not very good thing happened to you so let's uh, it's you know bringing uh, 
the your human side to to other people that you're showing that you are not only a manager that you know coordinates your tasks but you also are a leader and uh, a leader listens to the people 